Hi, I'm Danny Veggett with the Door and Window Department at Global Sales. Many of our customers who live and work in Bermuda and the Caribbean are all too familiar with the property damage that can occur in high winds, storms, hurricanes, or even just the day-to-day -day island climates. They also know that good quality windows are critical in protecting structures from the weather and environment in general. So when you have a project that calls for windows, what should you look for? Well, we carry a number of window options that are ideal for severe coastal weather. We recommend both vinyl and aluminum frames, and we represent a wide range of choices in both. There are advantages to each material, and we can help you select the window best suited for your style, project requirements, measurements, budget, and specific building needs. In addition to choosing the frame, selecting the right glass is important. Two terms that come up frequently when discussing window glass are impact resistant glass and wind rating. Today, I will talk to you a little bit about what is behind each of these terms. Impact glass, put simply, is two panes of glass, typically a vinyl or a plastic inner layer sandwiched between them. The purpose of that design is to construct a window that will break, but not shatter, when it is struck by flying debris in a storm. By inhibiting wind or weather intrusion during a storm, major catastrophic damage can be avoided. Rigorous testing is done on the glass design before it is certified to be impact resistant. Even though it's on the higher end of the cost spectrum, many of our customers consider impact resistant windows to be a good investment because of the reduced risk of storm damage. Also, the cost of impact resistant windows will be typically offset by reducing the needs to purchase other types of hurricane protection. The second term, wind rating, which is the common name for design pressure rating, essentially refers to how much wind speed the window can take before it fails. Basically, the higher the design pressure, the more wind the window can take before it malfunctions. Certified window glass carries a product code that supplies very specific information about the glass. The code might look like this. With a series of letters and numbers, in this code, the first two letters designate the product type. HS stands for horizontal sliding window. The next letter is performance class. In our example, the R stands for residential. Other performance classes might be commercial, heavy commercial, or architectural. The third number is the design pressure rating, and the last numbers are the window size. Now I will make a chart magically appear which will show you why this is important. A standard 30 by 50 inch window is slightly more than 10 square feet. So if you look at the 10 square feet number at the top left, and you go across, you'll see how much wind each design pressure rating will handle. This number is essential since it gives you the ability to do an apples to apples comparison of wind ratings when you buy windows. And while you're looking at this number, be aware that products sold in other areas may carry a design pressure rating, but they might not necessarily meet the strict standards required for products manufactured in Florida. So if you're uncertain about the rating or manufacturer, be sure to ask about the certification. If all of this seems complicated, it's because it is. But at Global Sales, we know which windows are the best for coastal environments, and we can guide you throughout the selection process. We will make sure that you have the products that are right for your application and area. Thanks for watching, and be sure to call me for information and a no-obligation quotation for your next window project.